Hula all. Today I'm going to be showing you how to properly use the Olu Ball Kava Maker with our Kava Supreme. That is our the official Kava Root Powder of the Olu Ball Kava Maker. Uh, Kava Supreme is a noble blend of Vanuatu Kava Root. Um, it has about 22 Olu Ball servings, which uh, with an Olu Ball serving being about 2 tablespoons of Kava Root Powder. And here is our 8 ounce bag. They're also available in four ounce bags. So this is our Pattaya Pink Olive Ball Kava Maker. Uh, you can get them uh, on our website at getkavafy.com or uh, quickly on Amazon Prime. Uh, when you get it, you'll see the packaging that uh, gives you instructions uh, on top of giving you a little history about kava and uh, who we are as a company. The Olive Ball Kava Maker consists of the Olive Ball itself along with our 700 milliliter olive ball shaker bottle. So now I'm going to show you how to quickly make kava with the olive ball kava maker. Uh, first step is, is pretty uh, intuitive. You open the bottle and take the olive ball out. Um, the olive ball is uh, a twist on so uh, firmly grip both sides uh, and uh, lightly twist to open up the olive ball then you grab your kava supreme or uh, favorite kava root powder uh, obviously ours is kava supreme but the olive ball works with any type of kava root powder as long as it's not root chips so now that you have your olive ball opened um, you grab your kava root powder kava supreme bag uh, here you can see the the grind of the Kava Supreme bag. Let me try to get the focus a little better here. There you go. Uh, you can see it's a it's a nice fine uh, medium traditional grind that uh, we uh, specifically uh, blend and mill for the Olu Ball. But again, uh, any type of uh, Kava root powder will work in the Olu Ball. Uh, Kava Supreme is just the official. Uh, brand of the olive ball. Um, now with just a spoon or a tablespoon, depending how exact you want to be, uh, loosely put about two tablespoons in the olive ball. As you can see, uh, the, main, the main cause for um, failure in making a good grog with the olive ball is overpacking the olive ball. Uh, you don't want to overpack it because it needs room in there to work its magic. If you, if you are trying to get a more concentrated uh, brew of kava, the best thing to do would be to buy uh, a few spare olive balls and uh, fill two up um, to put in to uh, one bottle at the same time. So you're just doubling the amount of kava you have in there um, with the same amount of liquid, giving you a more concentrated uh, kava root beverage. As you can see with our Kava Supreme bag, we have a Ziploc top, so uh, it's easy storage after your first initial use. Um, we recommend using uh, room temperature filtered water. Uh, we feel like it makes the kava taste a little better, but if you're new to kava, it won't matter as uh, the kava's earthy taste is quite unique and uh, takes some time to getting acquired too. I would recommend filling the olive oil at least halfway just um, so that it protects the uh, structural in integrity of, uh, of the bottle. Uh, itself um, and here at hold, holding it down like this this is kind of our technique that we found to be the most um, effective with the olive oil as far as giving you the most control over the the product while you uh, put the kava through a tremendous amount of uh, stress within the bottle and ball um, we recommend shaking for only about 30 to uh, seconds to a minute at a time. If you do want to shake the olive oil longer than a minute, I recommend doing it in 30 second to a minute intervals um, and not a consistent two to five minutes at a time. Uh, this will help uh, reduce the fatigue uh, applied on the stainless steel uh, used in the olive oil and uh, make the expected life uh, of the olive oil itself uh, a lot longer. So that was about 30 seconds. I'm going to open up the top here to, to show you the thickness of the grog. 
Also want to uh, remind uh, new users of kava that kava settles, so if you do um, drink it out of the bottle, uh, you want to shake it uh, before every drink uh, so that all the, the, the sediment and stuff uh, mixes with the drink and you're, you're not getting uh, either one or the other. So there you have it, a quick few shells of kava made possible by the olive oil kava maker. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch our tutorial on how to use the olive oil. And uh, like always, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, please contact us on our website at www.getkavified.com and I'll be sure to answer them swiftly. Uh, and again, here's our uh, kava supreme and olive oil kava maker available at getkavified.com and Amazon Prime. Aloha.